Well, hi, I'm Wayne McGuire. I'm the CEO of McGuire's One Team. We're going to bring to you a series uh, of what's happening around our area, and in particular, the things that we normally go past and we probably don't know too much about. So today with me is an expert, we're a very well-known expert, uh, Desley Simpson, who has uh, taken time out from her busy schedule to talk to us today about the gun emplacements and the spotlights or searchlights uh, that we see as we travel down Tamaki Drive. Desley, thank you so much. Great catching up again. Oh, thanks, Wayne. Glad to be here. Yeah. Thank you. And we've had a quick look downstairs uh, on Tamaki Drive at what's on display down there. But you're the expert. Tell us what we've actually got, what we drive past. Look, you drive past three wonderful searchlight emplacements. And, you know, for years they were a bit derelict. We had yeah. sort of homeless people living in them, <laughs> etc. cetera. Uh, but in 2018, we did them up because we thought that it was important for Aucklanders to acknowledge the heritage that have happened along here in Tamaki Drive and the important role they played in keeping Auckland safe. So, of course, originally they were put together for the Second World War, mm -hmm. and there is a storyboard down on Tamaki Drive where people can learn a little bit more. Which is details. really well done, isn't it? And yep. I, I know you've now done those across the waterfront. They're pretty yep. cool. Yep. I think it's important because, you know, you, you walk past, you say, oh, what are those grey things there? What are they? So the storyboards uh, for both Biddix Bay and uh, Searchlight Emplacements and uh, Fort Bastien up here and Bastien Rock. Uh, give a little bit of the history for people to stop and look. So I hope that when you walk or cycle or even drive, stop and do have a read. And but, check them out. Yeah, and check them out. But as I said, these were designed uh, to be operational in the Second World War because from this particular point, from Fort Bastion, you could see the absolute harbour entry to yep. Auckland. Yep. And there were concerns that submarines would enter Auckland and uh, the enemy in World War II would enter Auckland from that area so they were the, the lookout the spotters yeah and uh, i think it's really great that we've kept that heritage alive and told people the story and gone through cleaned it up made it uh more presentable as we go through um so there we go as we go past it's a point in time where we were worried about people invading us and mm. uh this was set up to stop that as it went through and you mentioned you had a boom from here across to Torpedo Bay? It was kind of a, a line of sight, you know, it was used way back uh, by Māori when uh, when their waka came in for enemies as well. There was a line of sight, you can see right down the Waitamata channel and uh, that's the perfect viewpoint to see who's coming to visit Auckland. So there we go, as you go past, stop uh, down out the front, you'll see all the information out there. When we come back, and Desley, thank you, you're going to come back and we're going to uh, do more about uh, Fort Bastion. Correct. So we're going to go up yep. and we're going to go inside. Maybe. Wow. Okay. I think that would be stunning. So there we go. Make the most of what's out here. We walked past and we hung out when we uh, had the lockdown. It was great to see. Do stop. Do make sure you understand uh, our local history. That's correct. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.